ओके इन फर्स्ट इयर सेम वन डिफरेंशियल एंड इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस इन डिफरेंशियल एंड इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस वी कंप्लीटेड टू टॉपिक्स नाउ द थर्ड टॉपिक होमोजीनियस फंक्शंस दिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ फर्स्ट यूनिट इफ यू कंप्लीटेड दिस टॉपिक मींस फर्स्ट यूनिट टोटली कंप्लीटेड ओके दो सो इन दैट डिफरेंशियल एंड इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस नेक्स्ट होमोजीनियस फंक्शंस इन दैट नेक्स्ट वन थीरम इज देयर बेस्ड ऑन दिस थीरम वी हैव सम प्रॉब्लम्स ओके बेस्ड ऑन दिस थीरम वी हैव सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इन दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स ओके फर्स्ट लिसन दिस थीरम द थीरम स्टेटमेंट इज व्हाट स्टेट एंड प्रूव यूलस थीरम फॉर होमोजीनियस फंक्शन स्टेटमेंट इज व्हाट इफ जेड इज जेड इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स कामा वाई इज ए कंटिन्यूस इज ए होमोजीनियस फंक्शन इन एक्स एंड वाई ऑफ डिग्री एन देन एक्स डोजेड बाई डो एक्स प्लस वाई डोजेड बाई डो वाई इज इक्वल टू एन जेड फॉर आल एक्स कामा वाई इज बिलांग टू डोमेन ऑफ एफ इकड़ा डिग्री ऑफ ए गिवेन फंक्शन ओके See in this uh, in the proof. See the proof. So by the definition of homogeneous function, homogeneous function definition उन्ची. When you will say f of x comma y is an homogeneous function, if it can be expressed in the form of x power of n f of y by x, then f of x comma y is called a homogeneous function. So in question only given in statement only f of x comma y is a homogeneous function in x and y of degree n. Then we have to show this. If we show this, then our proof is completed. This is what Euler's theorem. Okay. So if z is equal to f of x comma y is a homogeneous function, homogeneous function. homogeneous function in x and y of degree n then degree n then it should be then it should be expressed in the form of expressed in the form of expressed in the form of what z is equal to x power of n f of y by x okay if we express this z is equal to x power of n into f of y by x then f is said to be homogeneous function of degree n now we got a function z function now we have to find do z by do x and the do z by do y then after we have to substitute in the the two values in this equation equation number 1 then you will get n z that only our proof see apply partial derivative with respect to x on both sides okay do z by do x is equal to u into v derivative v derivative means f dash of y by x again inner derivative with respect to x means 1 by x will become minus 1 by x square minus y by x square plus v into f of y by x into u derivative u means x power of n n x to the power of n minus 1 now this is what do z by do x but we but we have to know we have but what we have x into do z by do x means we have to find x into do z by do x we have only do z by do x so multiply multiply with x on both side with x on both sides if you multiply with x on both sides what you will get x into do z by do x that is equal to x into x power of n f dash of y by x f dash of y by x into minus y by x square minus y by x square plus f of y by x plus f of y by x into n 
into x power of n minus 1 into x. Why into x again? Both sides we are multiplying with x now. Both sides we are multiplying with x. So, x came here. Okay. Now, x power of n plus 1 into minus y by x square into f dash of y by x plus n x to the power of n minus 1 plus 1 f of y by x. Okay. Now, x power of n plus 1 minus 2 into minus y f dash of y by x plus n x to the power of plus 1 minus 1 cancel n x to the power of n f of y by x. So, x into dou z by dou x value now minus y x to the power of n minus 1 f dash of y by x plus n x to the power of n f of y by x. Okay. Now, this is equation number 2. Now, for this one, sorry, for this, uh, this function, let it be star. For this function, we have to do partial derivative with respect to y. Apply partial derivative to star with respect to y on both sides. y on both sides. What you will get? Dou z by dou y is equal to dou by dou y of dou by dou y of this x power of n sorry x power of n f of y by x so with respect to y means x should be constant x power of n into f dash of y by x in a derivative here 1 by x so this is only dou z by dou y we need y into dou z by dou y if you multiply with y, y x power of n minus 1, n minus 1, f dash of y by x. This is equation number 3. Now substitute, substitute 2 comma 3 in 1. So in 1, if you substitute 3 comma 2 in equation number 1, what you will get? Minus y x power of n minus 1 f dash of y by x plus n x to the power of n f of y by x y by x then plus y x to the power of n minus 1 into f dash of y by x ok so better to don't write your substitute LHS will not come again. Add 2 and 3. Add 2 and 3 means you will get LHS is equal to RHS. So, add 2 and 3. So, 2 and 3 if you add 2 and 3 x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y is equal to minus y x to the power of n minus 1 f dash of y by x plus n x to the power of n f of y by x minus sorry plus y x to the power of n minus 1 f dash of y by x ok now here these two are cancel these two are cancel now what you left n x to the power of n f of y by x. So this total term become now again it is in the form of z. x power of n f of y by x means z. So is equal to n z. So finally is equal to n z. Therefore x into dou z by dou x plus y into dou z by dou y is equal to n z. So, this is our final answer. N proved. So, this is what? Euler's theorem. So, Euler's theorem is what? z is equal to f of x comma y is a homogeneous function in x, x and y of degree n. Then it should be 
expressed in the form of z is equal to x power of n f of y by x that is the definition of homogeneous function and a homogeneous function is f of x comma y and the homogeneous function i t f of x comma y and the homogeneous function i know i t manaku a condition is satisfied chase the dhani manu euler's theorem and the chapter neural matter statement are this okay if z is equal to f of x comma y is a homogeneous function i in the ante in x x and y of degree n low other than the is it is equal to x power of n f of y by x and a condition is satisfied chai ali adhi homogeneous function definition ok so mana ki bring a wali dou z by dou x dou z by dou y with respect to x with respect to y then a partial derivative chase to num chase in tar vata with respect to x chase in tar vata dou z by dou x ki x to multiply as to num and dou z by dou y ni y to multiply as to num mana ka answer anna di final ka n z ho chindi r h s ho chase in tar vata so therefore x into dou z by dou x plus y into dou z by dou y is equal to n z this is the proof of euler's theorem in homogeneous function of differential and integral calculus first unit okay thank you thank you everyone